My name is Kashif Khan. Uh, I grew up in BC. I had a beautiful time out there. Actually born in Victoria, then raised in Vancouver. In high school, I was training, and while doing these pec flies, trying to grow my chest, I threw the weight down and just tore a muscle. Literally for the next 15-ish years, I wasn't able to do much. Anytime I got to the point where I was just kind of working out, getting to some level of benefit, it would start hurting again. Where I'm at now, I know that if I keep going the way I am, I'm not going to be able to get back to the gym. My passion was PR and media. So I got into helping companies grow, right? So I, I had this sort of knack for the ability to find somebody's story, package it, get them out there and help them grow. And then I realized I needed to do that for myself. And I found a an industry that really uh, sort of pulled at my heartstrings, which was healthcare. We were doing well. We were helping a lot of companies grow. Uh, I had so many health issues all at once and I couldn't figure out why did they all happen now and why could nobody tell me why they're happening by diving into my genome, which seemed to be the only answer, like maybe there's something wrong with me. I did find that there's literal pages of my DNA missing, like there's instructions that I didn't have. And then I started to talk to other people, my sort of friends and family, similar problems, right? There's this thing I can't get rid of, it's depression, or my dad has diabetes, or, and I can't figure out why, or what to do about it, as opposed to just taking a pill. And so that's when I literally walked away from my company and handed the keys to my business partner and said, I found what I got to work on. What we're doing is great, but this is impact. This is changing people's lives. And so, yeah, five years ago, I didn't look back, funded it, got it going, and here we are. The big gap that we found in genetics was that nobody knew what to do with it, right? Unless you were a PhD or scientist in a lab studying it, the general public had no clue how to apply this stuff. So me being a sort of mainstream marketer, not a scientist in the lab, realized I needed to create that. That's the missing link. Science is already great. How do people adopt? You have to normalize it. And so I started going out there and speaking as the guy who was not the PhD or the doctor, right? Speaking to other doctors, educating them on why they, their patients need access to this tool. And so it's gotten to the point where literally every week I'm flying somewhere, speaking at some conference. You know, there's been a couple TEDx talks now. Uh, there's online stuff almost daily. Truly, my job is not running the company, just educating, getting the world educated on you can use your genome to prevent disease. It's funny because uh, I met Dr. Khan through Instagram because he was commenting on a topic that is personal to me and we actually butted heads. We kind of butted heads because what he was saying was right, but there was a piece missing. And what I was saying, I think, had some validity but I didn't understand his perspective. And we kind of married the two and realized that if you put these two together, that's the answer. And this is where we see a lot of this going on. The collaboration of innovation and medicine is you're finally starting to see clinicians like Dr. Khan that are bringing things to market that people don't have access to, right? And they're, they're getting what they want for the biohacking world, but kind of vetted and properly you know, deployed in the way that they need it. As soon as we were done the conversation, there was a sidebar, you know, where I, we, we talked about how we could potentially work together because we both recognized it. Then my shoulder flared up, right? And it got really bad to the point where I literally couldn't bench press even the bar, couldn't do it. The strength was there, just the pain. And I knew that I was causing myself damage, so I paused. So I thought, hey, this guy was the one guy out of the people I talked to that sounded like he knew what he was doing. So I reached out and right away he said, yeah, I can know exactly what to do in terms of PRP and regenerative treatment, right? And that was the right answer. That's exactly what I was hoping to hear. Went to see him right away and so far it's been amazing. As you're aging, one of the things that people don't realize, the body is what keeps you behind. If you're not maintaining and taking care of yourself like you do with your car or your home, body's not gonna be ready for old age, right? So I wanna be able to continue training and being in shape and being able to travel and with energy and vitality and all that, which means I got to maintain and not wait for this to heal for a year, which means I'm not in the gym, I'm probably in pain and stressed, right? Why not just go fix it?